UK trains are increasing in frequency and speed, which may be good for customers, but it's putting more pressure on the older railway tracks. The University of Southampton has been leading the Track to the Future programme, helping to develop longer lasting tracks. Nick Thatcher went to find out more. Today's rail passengers demand speed and reliability. And that requires infrastructure that's safe and resilient. So researchers have been exploring ways to develop track that offers low maintenance and low noise, and costs less and lasts longer. The three research challenges that Track to the Future is seeking to address are first to improve the performance and increase the longevity of ballasted railway track, secondly to improve the performance of difficult zones like transitions of track onto the bridges or switches and crossings and thirdly to make the railway quieter because very often people's concerns about increased noise are one of the things that can make it difficult to reopen a railway line or increase the intensity of service. Track to the Future brings together academics from the universities of Southampton, Birmingham, Huddersfield and Nottingham to work with key industry players. And here alongside the HS1 route in Kent is where some of the research is being carried out. This is um, a switch and crossing. Dr. Louis Le Pen has been looking at ways to optimize vehicle behavior through crossings and transitions by using specialized sensors to measure the movements in the track. We try to understand the mechanisms of deterioration. And sometimes we're given a problem by a maintenance operator like HS1 or Network Rail, and they've got a particular location that they want us to look at and, and understand how it's performing. And we may also assess the remediation. So, you know, they might be trying a different kind of sleeper, a different way to pack the ballast, and we can assess the effectiveness of that remediation by carrying out measurements before, during and after. State-of-the-art experimental and analytical techniques are also being used to measure the acoustics of passing trains to help design low noise, low vibration track. Yeah, we call that, okay. Yes. What we've got here is an acoustic array that's got 90 microphones arranged on a approximately five meter frame. In the center of that, you've got a camera. So as the train goes by, we can take a photographic image and as well as that, we can take an acoustic image of the train and then on that image then we can identify the acoustic hotspots so we can look at see for instance where the pantograph is each of the wheels as they pass aerodynamic noise from the bogies and we're able to not only identify where those are but also the strength of each of those sources much of the ongoing work to support the project is carried out here at the university of southampton's new national infrastructure laboratory as well as its institute of sound and vibration research this is an anechoic chamber, which is a special acoustic environment where you have no echoes and a very low background noise level. And in the Track to the Future project, we've been using it to develop the microphone array and to calibrate it. But we also use it to test scale models of railway track. We have tested ballasted track and slab track. Slab track is made of concrete and is more used in high speed lines. We want to understand the difference in the way in which they, um, they produce sound. This is the preferred test site. Back on site, Network Rail's head of track engineering for HS1 told me the collaboration is already delivering benefits. We have a long-standing relationship with Southampton, so we have done a lot of research with them, targeting site-specific issues uh, with their instrumentation and measurement. We know what the root cause of the problems are, and then we get a more sustainable solution for us and it's good for the passengers because there are less track faults and delays. HS1 is acting as a testbed for further developments in high-speed rail, and the research being carried out here will help inform the best track to the future. <laughs>